deep way with Frederick Foot and Ankle. Um, today, I'll be applying a total contact cast to our patient. Um, usually, the total contact cast is used for diabetic ulceration that shows minimal to no improvement. Total contact cast is changed weekly, and that will allow the wound to heal by decreasing the amount of pressure to the area and the amount of friction to the wound. Our patient today is getting a diabetic contact cast replaced. So we cut the diabetic contact, the previous diabetic contact cast off, and we will be replacing it today. We took measurements of the wound prior to the initial placement, and it already has shown a significant reduction in size. So this is what the diabetic wound looks like, and usually the wound is a plantar wound or a wound that's on the side or outside of the foot, anywhere from the heel to the front of the foot. So again, this is what the wound looks like, and once we place the cast, we will also show you what the cast looks like in completion. Thank you. I am Dr. Nikwe again, just coming back and recapping where we left off in terms of making the total contact cast. This is the total contact cast that now has been completed. You can see that it's very solid, um, preventing any additional pressure, and it also has a special walking pad that allows the patient to bear weight to the foot but still keeping weight off of the wound area. And with that, you will notice that it also helps to decrease the amount of edema and swelling that you will experience to your foot and the amount of pressure. So those two factors combined will allow the wound to heal and allow the wound to heal quickly. Thank you. Refresh your foot and ankle.